Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thank you so much for checking out today's video, which I'm so excited to have you here for today as we take a look at a new notebook that has just come into my life. Not only has it come into my life, but as a part of getting to know people better, that's how this has come into my life. A friend that I've made recently within the stationary community, her name is Rachel. You may know her as Artisanal Inc. on Instagram. She has a really cool job. Not only does she work for Itoya and and some other stationary brands, but she actually got the chance to design her own notebook. And that's what we're going to be looking at today as a part of this video. Not only that, but she also sent me some other goodies that are inside of here. And as I opened them up, I was just like, oh, you sent me a pencil, but this is a pencil that's more than meets your eye, as well as just a wonderful, beautiful pen and some other stuff. So we're gonna go through all of this, take a look through, and then do a review of this notebook and a pen test of it, because I have never seen a journal like this before. So let's go ahead and get into it. My favorite part of unboxing everything really is just taking a look at the craft and just how special and new different products are. And especially when they're new to me, I feel like I get extra excited about it. And this notebook is extremely special because not only is it super cool, but I now know the person who created this notebook and put a lot of time and care into doing that. So again, thank you, Rachel, for sending these goodies out to me. We'll get to the notebook in just a second. First, I just wanted you to take a look at this awesome pencil pouch. This one is called the Midtown pouch. It's a soft felt water resistant pouch. One zipper here, a lot of different colors and just these two technically three pouches that are inside of here. So you can put your pens and some stationery. And even if you were just carrying like a few cards around, I think you could totally drop a few things in there. But she put some goodies in here for me, which I absolutely loved. And I didn't know it at first. I was like, sweet, I got a new pen and pencil holder here. And then I opened it up and saw goodies and I was super excited. So again, this one is called the Midtown Pouch. Um, and you can get all of these from atoya.com. So inside of this little pouch here, we had this little handmade notebook. It looks like a hand pressed paper here. I don't even know what I would put inside of here. I feel like it's just so special, but I will definitely be finding something uh, to put inside of here, maybe some small sketches or things like that in the future. So love that, thank you. This here is the Atoya Blade. It is a disposable fountain pen. And I'm going to tell you that I don't want to dispose of this. <laughs> I know the whole purpose of this pen is to dispose and like you don't have to worry about refilling it or anything like that. But I really, really don't want to do that. But um, it comes in blue and black. You have a really nice nib tip here at the top. And then the whole thing is already filled with ink so you don't have to fool with anything. So we'll be pen testing that inside of the notebook in just a minute. And then the other thing, this I, I just loved. Because this I got and I was like, oh, this is cool. Like this is a neat pencil. Like I've never seen any type of lead like this before. <laughs> and then I realized that the tip of this is not lead. That it's actually a mechanical pencil. Um, so it technically never doesn't have a point on it. So this is called the Paper Skater Point Keeper. So it looks like a number two pencil. And all of this you can get on the website, like I mentioned. But you have your lead right in the bottom of it. So I just thought it was really cool looking. Um, you can refill these so the eraser here comes off and you can refill this in the back here with uh, proper lead. You can pop inside of there and then this slides right back on and uh, you have your eraser here too. So if you see me using this in the future, which I know I will be, you will know where I got it from now. So that's super cool, love that. Let's take all of that over to the side. And now for the real, the real special star of today. So I'm just gonna pull this off because this came as a part of the packaging. So this is called the Oasis Summit Journal. We've got three pages of index, which I'll show you in just a minute. We've got two bookmarks. The grid on this, I've never ever seen it before. And I think it is so cool. And it makes sense that it's a proprietary dot grid and line pattern on there. We have 252 numbered pages, fountain pen friendly, which you gotta love. It lays out flat. It's a B6 size. That's always something people ask me, like what size is that notebook? So five inches by seven, uh, 1.25 inches. And the paper in here, and this is what makes it very special, is that this is the 84.3 GSM Japanese paper. So if you have never used Japanese paper before, it feels very different than the kind of your normal paper. And also, usually it holds up 
really well to things like fountain pens and things along that line versus other types of paper where it just kind of like bleeds through or goes through. Even the cover of this is special, so it's not just a regular cover. It has a nice little shimmer to it with the gold mountain or summit on it as well. And like I said, this is just so cool because Rachel designed this notebook just with all of the stationary lovers in mind. So let's go ahead and open it up so you can see all the cool things I'm talking about. When you open it up, you have your normal write your name, write your phone number when you lose your notebook thing inside of here, which I always put my stuff in there because wouldn't it be horrible to like lose a notebook and never be able to get it back? These are your index pages. So if you want to use this as a bullet journal or even a normal journal, the index has always been really important and I've never really paid attention to it before. In Before I started bullet journaling, just to be clear, like I've had notebooks that have had it, but I never really knew how to use it. And since all of these pages are numbered, it's easy to be able to just write down, you know, what was the topic that you're working on. Now, when I got this notebook, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to use it for. But now that uh, everything's been announced at work, I actually have a new job. For the past oh, three and a half, four years, I've been really into design operations as a career. And it's for me, if you're in the design field, it's like the business side of design. I love community. I love teaching. I love supporting other creatives and other people. And this role is is going to do that exactly for me. Now, this is new. My job has never had this as an official role before. So I'm the first person that's going to be doing it. And I've been doing it side of desk for years. So what I've decided to do because of the way that this page is gridded out here is I decided to use this as an actual writing journal. I'm going to document my day to day or week to week as I move into this role and continue to do new things with the team. This may not necessarily be something that I'm sharing on social media just because it is personal for me, but I also plan on putting notes and other things in here too. So these index pages here in the front are going to be really important as a part of uh, how I how I use this here. Now, on this page, I've got to remember what I wrote there the other day, maybe like a little bit. I did use one of my other pens and it's more of a regular fountain pen and I saw some like feathering that was happening there. And obviously on the back of the page here, you have the ghosting because this is just thicker, but I'm actually interested to see what the blade looks like in here because this fountain pen that I used had a lot of ink coming out of it, um, especially when I first started and just refilled it. Um, I probably should have used it a little bit more so it wasn't, but it does come through here. Now as a writing journal, I'm not concerned about this. I personally am not a huge fan of ghosting inside of notebooks and journals, but that's in my bullet journals. This is a little bit different for how I'm going to be using it, so I don't mind it. Some of the other really cool key features, and let me zoom in here because I think it's really neat that all of this exists. So the first thing here is actually, let me film to this page here so the other page isn't super distracting. The first thing here is that at the very top of the pages, you'll see these three dots. And what you can use these for, if you want to use this for any type of other planning or design, is you can use these to be able to turn their page into thirds. Or you can use the middle dot here to turn that page into a half. If we turn this notebook sideways, you'll also see that those small dots appear here on these two lines so that if you want to turn this page into thirds, you can or in half is here. So it's already all pre-measured for you. You don't have to worry about getting out a ruler or counting out these spaces because it is a little bit different. And I'll say odd, I really love it, but it is a little bit different because of the way that these lines are. Let me go ahead and just take another zoom in right here so you can get a closer look of what these lines look like. So each one of these individual lines, so it's like a mix of like a dot grid journal, a line journal, but also a really great template if you're practicing your lettering or your cursive as well. And that's what I'm trying to do with this one is write in cursive more because I don't do that. I write in all caps and print inside of my day to day. So taking more time and being more thoughtful, I thought that this could work really well for me.
as I mentioned, this has just so many pages. I love it, and I love that they are all already numbered for us as well. So we have 252 pages for me to write in, or you if you get the notebook. But I am going to use this last page here, page 251, to try out some different items inside of this notebook because for me, the pen test is one of my most favorite parts of it. So I'm going to write in a handful of things today. I have the the Atoya Blade, which we talked about, which is the fountain pen from the brand. I also have all kinds of stuff out here. We're going to use the Sharpie S gel inside of here. I have some other just regular gel pens. We have a rollerball here from Baron Fig. Some more gel pens. Faber-Castell, I have this really, really lovely dark black ink brush pen here too, so I'll be trying that one out. Some other colored brush pens here. I always like to try out highlighters because you know they're so bright and you can always kind of see in them. We have mild liners, some more gel pens. The worst thing in the entire world inside of any notebook, which is like a basic Sharpie marker. But then I also do have some of these Ecoline brush pens, which we're going to try out in here as well. And last but not least, you know me, I gotta try out a little bit of watercolor. You never know what it's gonna look like. And I know watercolor works well on other Japanese paper too. So we're going to be trying out uh, this Peppercon Arts watercolor here, which is the geology collection. And we're gonna do that one right there because it's a absolutely stunning, beautiful color. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how everything looks. I'm not going to go piece by piece. I'm actually just going to fill it all in. We'll speed it up and then we'll talk about it afterwards. All right, so I think I have officially thrown almost all of my stationery at this paper here. Everything from Sharpie S gel pens. We've got other type of gel pens up here. We've got brush pens, highlighters, mild liners, different types of metallic and black inks. I got that Sharpie in here like a dark black. Pretty sure I know what that's going to do. We also put some of the Ecoline watercolor brushes in here, real watercolor. We also have the Le Pen, the Flex, which is an inkier type of brush pen. Um, Uniball modes, we've got the Dingbats brush pen. I got a stamp and some Ink Joy. I like, grabbed everything around here that I could potentially think of putting in here. So let's go ahead and do the reveal. Let's see how the paper does. And I am very surprised. So this right here is that Sharpie. I always use a Sharpie in every notebook. And the reason I do is because, well, I know it's going to fail. I'm waiting for like a notebook that I can use that in and we're not going to get anything bad. But other than that, all I'm seeing is just some ghosting. This isn't super thick paper, but it handled everything very well. Even the watercolor that's here, there is not a lot of buckling happening. A little bit that you can see inside of here if I put it on that angle, but on the paper itself, it's actually pretty smooth on here. Some of the pens that are a little bit darker and inkier, like the pens, those did show through a little bit more than the other ones. But even the Archer and Olive Acrylograph pens, which is a paint pen, did really well on here. I had a good feeling it was going to. Like I said, I always hear great things about Japanese paper. I've used some other types of Japanese paper from other brands as well, and it always handles everything really well. So really excited about that. So that is the Oasis Summit Notebook. 
just really beautiful. I just am in love with this grid pattern that's on here. I think it's so cool. So you know what I'm going to be using my for. If you want to check out any of these products that you saw today, I'll put all the links below, but you can head over to the Atoya website, which is itoya.com. Again, a special shout out and a thank you to Rachel for sending me out this notebook. This journal is just otherworldly. It's made from beautiful paper. It's made with writing in mind and just Look at the craftsmanship and that shimmer. Oh, it's beautiful. So many thanks to Profolio and Atoya and just everyone who is just making the stationary world a better place. I appreciate it so much and I know you will too. I'll drop all of the links for these products in the descriptions below if you're interested in checking them out yourself, especially that number two mechanical pencil. It's like my new favorite pencil in the entire world and I know that you will love it as well. I'll talk to you later on. Thank you so much for joining me again and happy planning.